Welcome to the second series of the Little Bean Podcast, where every episode feels like a warm hug, reminding us that we are not alone in this roller coaster of parenthood. I'm your host, Sarah Bulldog, a mum to three amazing boys, as well as a newborn and family photographer. I've been so lucky to join hundreds of families on their parenthood journey and capture their most precious moments. Along the way, we've laughed through so many different topics around parenthood, and I thought it would be great to bring them to life in my podcast. The aim of the Little Bean Podcast is to show mums and dads that you are not alone. I can pretty much guarantee everything that you're feeling at various points in your journey. We've all been there. So together, let's navigate the highs and lows of being a mum and a dad. From the first moment you find out you're pregnant, right up until when your babies are taller than you and embarking on their own journeys. Let's cozy up and share stories about all sorts of topics, from little ones first cuddly to the evolving themes of family board games. From the first books they won't let you stop reading to the once beloved TV shows that used to be on permanent repeat and are now a thing of the past. Yes, have a big. Every little change marks another page turned in our family story. Yet with each soft goodbye, there's an exciting new hello. We're here to share these moments and to show you that you are not alone. It can sometimes feel like you're the only one riding these waves of emotions. But trust me, you're not. You're doing a fantastic job. Through the laughter and the tears, it's your love that makes this journey so incredible. Let's cherish each moment together. So this episode is incredibly close to my heart because I'm looking at how to capture those precious moments of your family's journey and keep them forever. This isn't just about portraits, but about capturing the mm, humdrum of every day that before you know it will be a treasured memory. As a mum to three wonderful boys, I've always wanted to capture every single moment of their childhood. I can still remember the excitement and the joy of their first smile, their first steps, and all those little milestones that make our hearts swell with love. But as life often does, it got in the way, and these memories often flew by without being captured. Now, with my boys at 15, 13 and 11, I find myself looking back and realising how many memories I missed capturing. I still regret not having those memories saved somewhere. One minute, my boys were nestled in my arms, and the next, they're taller than me and picking me up. They make me so proud every day, but it doesn't mean I don't miss those precious moments when they were little. So I recently went to see the film If with my youngest son. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I do have to confess to crying at the end. The film was so good and a true emotional roller coaster, filled with both heartwarming and tear jerking moments. It's a beautiful exploration of how memories shape us and how easily we can forget the little things as we grow up. There's a scene where a character looks through an old scrapbook and all the forgotten memories come flooding back. Yes, I cried there too. It reminded me of those fleeting everyday moments that we often overlook. The simple joys of the child's laugh, the warm hug, the sparkle in their eyes when they discover something new. Sitting in that dark theatre with my son whispering, Mummy, are you crying again? It's a standing joke that I always cry at anything these days. It reminded me of how precious each memory truly is. The whole theme of the film shows that every moment and memory should be treasured, not just for us as parents, but for our children to look back on and cherish as well. I walked out of that cinema and thought, I know, putting together all the ways of capturing your family journey into a podcast would help families to make sure they don't miss out on the most precious moments. I also walked out looking like Alice Cooper on a bad day as all my eyeliner had run. And if you know, you know. So whether you're a new parent or a parent already on your parenting journey, I hope the following ideas will help you to treasure every giggle, every step and every milestone. This guide is full of practical tips on what to photograph, how to create video keepsakes, journaling your family journey and crafting digital albums. 
designing memorable artwork and other creative ways to remember these fleeting moments. So let's start with the basics, capturing those firsts. These are the magical moments that, as parents, fill our hearts with joy and wonder. The first smile, the first steps, the first words. They're moments we think we'll never forget. But trust me, life has a way of making it even so the most memorable moments become a bit fuzzy over time. So here are my practical tips to ensure you keep these memories alive. So let's start with photographing the firsts. From their first smile to their first steps, make sure you have your camera, or in most cases these days, your phone, ready. Capture these heartwarming milestones and save them in a dedicated folder somewhere so you'll know where they are. Make a note of the dates too. You can even organise them chronologically or by event so that you can easily find and relive these moments later. Then there's creating video keepsakes too. Videos bring the most precious moments to life in a way that photos can't. Record their first bath, their first taste of solid food or their first babble. These clips will be precious reminders of their early days. Consider creating short video clips rather than long recordings focusing on the highlights to make it easier to watch and enjoy later. A very quick way to make fabulous memories is with voice recordings as well. Create a digital archive of voice recordings as well as the videos. There's something incredibly special about hearing your child's little voice again years later. The little squeaky, cute voices soon become gruff, deep voices. Well, they have in the case of two of my boys anyway. My youngest still has his little voice but it won't be for much longer. You definitely want to save audio clips of their first words, their laugh and even their little songs that they make up. There's also the simple thing of writing things down in a safe place. A written journal with every milestone and cute moment jotted down is a perfect way to remember what's happened. Even if you'll think you'll remember it's easy to forget these little details over time. You can use a beautiful bound journal or an online journaling app to document these moments. Note down their first words, the date they took their first step and those adorable little things they say. This not only serves as a beautiful keepsake, but also provides a wonderful way to reflect on their growth. As well as all these precious firsts, there are other memories that you want to capture as well, like measuring their height. Again, something that I half-heartedly started and then life got in the way and I really regret it now that two of my boys are taller than me. Track your little one's growth by measuring their height each year. Use a strip of masking tape on a door frame or maybe a beautiful wooden growth chart to create a visual record of their development. Remember to include mum and dad too. My dad put a piece of masking tape up on the wardrobe when he was very little and added my height every birthday. It was still there when we sold the house after my dad passed away and I have a photo of it somewhere so that I can keep it as a precious memory. Hand and foot casts are brilliant. I had hand and foot casts done with all three of my boys and when they were just two weeks old too. They're framed with a photo taken at the same time and I absolutely treasure them. They are another beautiful record of how tiny your little ones once were. It's a beautiful way to hold on to the littleness, even as they grow. As well as their hand and foot casts, there are also hand and foot prints. You can make it a yearly thing to see how they grow. You can also make their hand prints and footprints and create beautiful artwork. And it can be framed or put into scrapbooks as another beautiful record of their tiny hands and feet. Linked to their hand and footprints is baby's first Christmas decorations. Creating baubles with their hand and footprints for their first Christmas or mugs for grandparents are wonderful ways to remember their first Christmas. I did this with all three boys and I love getting the baubles out every year and hanging them very carefully on the tree. Their little hands and feet were so small. A must have is their first lock of hair. Don't forget to save a lock of hair from their first haircut. Place it in a keepsake box with a note of the date. You'll be amazed at how much their hair colour can change. My middle and youngest son's hair colour hasn't really changed too much, 
but my oldest son's hair went from almost bleach blonde to a mousy blonde. I still can't believe how much it has changed. It's such a precious way to remember their early years. Then there's keepsake bears. Have keepsake bears made from their baby grows and other special clothes. These cuddly reminders will always bring a smile to your face. They're a wonderful way to turn cherished fabrics into something you can hold on to. I never had these done for my boys and I so wish that I had as they had so many special baby grows when they were little and I just can't save them all. Having keepsake bears would have been an ideal way to keep them. Make memory boxes. Collect special memories like drawings, favourite outfits and other keepsakes in a memory box. This tangible collection will be a treasure trove of memories. Label each item with a date and a short note about when and where it was from. They really are a wonderful way to look back at their little times. Time capsules are a great way to capture the here and now, ready to rediscover later. Create a time capsule filled with current photos, notes and little treasures from their first year and then plan to open it together when they're older. I think a fab idea is personalised storybooks. Creating personalised storybooks featuring your child as the main character is a wonderful way to blend their real experiences with imaginative adventures. They make story time even more special. It's a fun way to create and celebrate their uniqueness. So, you've got all these memories, but how can you display them? Well, definitely don't leave them in a drawer or a cupboard unless you have to. I know you can't display absolutely everything or there wouldn't be enough room in the house for the children. Don't ask how I know that. Um, displaying them means you and everyone you know can enjoy them. So here are some wonderful ways to showcase and enjoy these treasured memories. How about a photo wall? Create a stunning photo wall in your home. It's a beautiful way to see their growth and the changes at a glance. Places like the staircase or in the kitchen or the lounge are a great place to put your photo wall. By updating it regularly with new photos, you can keep the memories fresh. A fabulous way to keep everything together and in order is a, an annual photo book. These often become treasured family heirlooms. Design annual photo books filled with photos, anecdotes and keepsakes. These books become a visual diary of your child's growth and changes. Each year you can look back and see how much they've grown and all the adventures you've had together. Another wonderful way to preserve all those memories together is by crafting a digital album. Create a digital scrapbook or an online photo album. It's easy to share precious memories with family and friends that way, ensuring that everyone can enjoy your little one's milestones. Platforms like Google Photos or private social media groups can be great for this. You can make themed scrapbooks. Focus them around significant milestones or yearly themes, incorporating photos, anecdotes and keepsakes again. This can be fun and creative project to work on together as a family. One thing that we do is annual calendars and they're a fantastic idea. I make one every year for my husband for Christmas and we keep them all. Each month can show highlights from the same month last year. You can all look forward to turning the calendar over each month and seeing what you were up to the same time last year. Why not put together digital slideshows? By compiling digital slideshows or video compilations set to music, you can turn everyday moments into emotive narratives. Perfect for sharing with family or even during special gatherings. Use a mix of photos and videos to create a dynamic and engaging keepsake. Similarly, why not create a digital archive of voice recordings or videos, ensuring your, those precious sounds of early childhood are easily accessible and never lost? Now, before I finish, there is a gentle reminder, and this comes from personal experience. Please make a note of where you've stored everything. You might think you'll remember, but it's easy to misplace precious keepsakes. Use a memory tracking app or keep a list to ensure you always know where all your treasured moments are. And trust me, I do speak from experience. I've spent many frantic hours looking for that one precious item I stored somewhere safe. Some I still haven't found. <clears throat> so 
I've looked at lots of amazing ways to capture every precious moment of your little one's early years. I hope you've been able to get some great ideas or you've been inspired to start or continue documenting these fleeting moments. As a mum who's seen her boys grow up way too fast, I can't stress enough the importance of these memories. Each laugh, step and milestone is a treasure worth capturing. I want everyone to make sure they photograph the important firsts, create video keepsakes, write down those once in a lifetime milestones and compile their most precious memories in a way that can be enjoyed over and over again as little ones grow. And don't leave those precious moments in a drawer or locked on your phone. Make sure you display them for everyone to enjoy by remembering to capture everything from their first tooth to their first day at school. My hope is that these timeless memories are there to hold on to, reliving the joy and the wonder of childhood at any moment. In essence, freezing time. The days when they are tiny may be long, but the years are short. Cherish every moment, take that extra photo, jot down that funny thing they said and record that belly laugh. Trust me, you'll be grateful for those memories in years to come. So that brings us to the end of another heartwarming episode here at the Little Bean Podcast. It's always a joy to share this journey with you, watching our little ones grow up into their big, bold selves. I love hearing about how you navigate the joys and challenges of watching your little ones grow, your stories, your tips and your tricks. So please feel free to post your experiences and don't forget to share this podcast with other mums and dads who are riding the same emotional roller coaster. It's a beautiful reminder that they're not alone. Together, we've got this. Together, we can embrace the challenges and cherish the moments of parenthood with fun and laughter. So remember, keep cherishing those precious moments and above anything else, you're doing an incredible job. <laughs>